Right. So in terms of setup, very good. Okay, it's stuff we've been working on there in terms of your sort of spine angle and your grip and a setup there. Very, very nice. Ball position ball with the stance, all very good. Takeaway was a slight issue there with the club face now kind of working mm -hmm. behind you. Hands now kind of like leveled off with the with the hips and that club's a good a good long way kind of behind your hands there, okay? That's gonna create a sort of a very inside path to the golf ball. The face is opened at this point. Generally speaking, we want the club face to kind of be in line with the spine at this point, and yours isn't, so it's a very much open club face. Mm -hmm. And again, if we open the club face to that extent, I mean, roughly speaking, whatever that that degree is there, it's a, almost 45 degrees, I suppose, you've got to do an awful lot of the other way at impact yeah. to scroll up. So if you do it 50 degrees on the way back down, your goal will look something like that. Okay, if you hold on to the club face, it's going to go way to the right there. So a lot of variation in your ball flights there make it very tough. Compared to this one here now, club now going back, if I go back a little bit higher there, club now sort of on your, basically in between there and there is where I want to see it. Be. In an ideal world, it'd be on the, uh, the red line more than the yellow line there, but compared to the, just look where your arms are. I mean, your arms are under your shoulders more. It's a much more kind of compact yeah. inline kind of swing. There's a lot less going on here than on this. I mean, look where your hands go. I mean, your hands sort of go from here, they sort of work out and then kind of come around. So the hands kind of work out with your left arm now kind of working towards that white line on the screen. Mm -hmm. Your left arm now is basically on the white line. Whereas this one here now, your hands are kind of working a bit more under the shoulders, much more squared off position. Same good top of the back position now, left arm now, nicely across your shoulders there, so we're getting a good position here now, I like that, okay? So if you come back down to the goal ball now, it's going to be more instinct to think, oh, I can actually release the club and not go too far to the left, okay? If you come back to the golf ball, release everything through without fear, and that's, that to me is kind of your ideal kind of start line, hitting the draw that you want to kind of see, okay? Starting two or three degrees right at target. Problem is, you, as you said before, you've got instinctive changes at impact and feel changes in the backswing. Yeah. You can change backswing pretty quick, okay, as you proved. Yeah. Okay. But obviously, instinct, you said, oh, I've been hitting this massive hook the last few weeks. You've been scared of left. So now it's almost like I've got to hold the face off a little yeah. bit and try to just stop that hook. With that hinge of the wrist this way and the better moving the club going back, you can't hook it to some extent. So this is going to start lending itself towards you kind of almost having swing feelings and perhaps techniques and methods when you've got to do an extreme shot just say for example in the future you've got a tree here in front of you okay and you've got to whip one round there hey go to this method here it's yeah. going to work okay you have to have a confidence to sort of release your hands yeah. to it but it's a way in which you can get an extreme shape of shot if everything sort of works in line with that but obviously hit a golf ball straight if you've got a massive hooking backswing you then got to put a massive slicing downswing or if you're hooking it 50 yards in the takeaway and slicing 50 yards in the downswing, they might come together zero, but at your speed, good luck. <laughs> it's yeah. just going to be all over the place. And what will happen is if you get enough shots on a driving range, you'll start off maybe the first couple like that and a couple that way, and then one might go that way and one might go that way, and then after a while you start doing that, and you go, oh, it's great. But you then you get in a groove, just keep doing it, but yeah. then you, you're kind of grooving the two wrongs and the right. I'd far rather see a swing that's a bit more kind of universally kind of easier to make this with the club working up much more up through your right shoulder there, nicely on play I mean, some of these positions are now really really good left arm nicely across your chest there left arm across your shoulders good angle coming back down and again it steepens a little bit on the way back down mm -hmm. that's kind of your swing path on the way down that's on the way back it's not miles away though but yeah. compared to I mean where it was I mean you were kind of there on the way back and on the way down steeper to create the fade you can see it oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. so you've got all those changes there so that was your old swing there okay again good 30 40 degrees of change of swing shaft plane okay and again that that compensation is going to be just really tough to control yeah and then you've got the last time you fire your hand to get the club face square you'll be consistency wise you'll be off the charts i mean you'll be like one day you're really good and you might play four or five holes like yeah oh, it's amazing i'm hitting the ball at them in I don't know, Bryson the Shambo, Dustin Johnson, whatever. Yeah. And then, like, step on the next team, you go 60 yards right Where did all that come from? And then, second, 70 yards left. Like, oh, God, what am I doing now? Just keeping that ball down the sort of corridor, having less variation, twist, twist, turn, drop, and all these kind of things. Okay, make, mm -hmm. make sense? Yeah, no, good thank man. you very much.